Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about my favorites in the month of May. So May has been a really busy month for me. I moved home from school um, and I've started making tons and tons of videos again, which makes me so excited. Um, but yeah, let's just get into my favorite products for May. I have a lot because I've had a lot of time on my hands to kind of play with makeup. So yeah, I'm really super excited to share them with you guys. My first favorite of the month is definitely the Stila Glitter and Glow shadows and specifically the glitter on the go set I believe is what this is called it's 25 bucks it's at Sephora I've had these for a couple months but honestly school has been so crazy and kept me so busy um that I really haven't had the time to sit down and really fall in love with these but this month has been the month for these babies I love them so much I think they're so versatile and wonderful I really love kind of um outlining a cut crease with them Kind of like Kelly Gooch does if you watch her videos. She does that a lot lately and I've been really inspired by her. Um, but these are just beautiful shades. I have the shade Kitten Karma, um, Smoldering Satin, and Rose Gold Retro. Here are some quick swatches for you guys. There's Smoldering Satin, Kitten, and Rose Gold Retro. They are so reflective and gorgeous. I love them. Another something sparkly and shiny and just gorgeous that's been my favorite this month is the L'Oreal um, Amber Rush Infallible Eyeshadow Amber Rush. I couldn't remember what these were actually called. Um, this is always my favorite this time of year. I love putting this all over my lid with some warm browns in my crease for just a gorgeous everyday eye look. I love how it makes my eyes pop and look wide awake. It's just, I feel like this is like always my favorite. It's... It's almost always in my yearly favorites. It's just such a beautiful shadow. And I think if you don't have this one in your collection, you definitely need to go get it. Next up is the Ulta Eye Makeup Removing Room Wipes. Mitts? What are these called? I don't know. I'll put the name up on the screen or in the description box below. But I've really been enjoying these. They do take off my makeup super easily, very, very gently. I much prefer these to makeup wipes because I feel like makeup wipes make my eyes feel like very dry and kind of tight and irritated where these are super gentle you just use water they're very effective but my only complaint with them right now is that it seems like they're not coming clean I've washed this one twice I haven't tried putting like stain remover on it because I didn't want to like okay I think this is a stupid idea because like it's gonna go through the washer but I don't want like the chemicals to irritate my eye but I think that might be my next move because I really love these but they're really really stained already and I've only been using them for a couple weeks Next product is definitely a rediscovered favorite of mine. It is the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. And my, I have mine in the shade Blonde. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, this product is old. It's very old. I added a drop of oil to it to kind of revive it. Um, and I've really, really been enjoying this. I've kind of been on a brow pencil kick lately. But the It Cosmetics one is starting to look very, very dark. I think my hair might be lightening a little bit from being out in the sun. So um, this kind of lighter shade has been really perfect for my brows and I find that this brow pomade is really really easy to use. It's pigmented but it's not so like in your face pigmented that you're afraid to use it. I find it very easy to create a brow. Um, I used it like right here in the arch where I don't really have any brow hair. It's kind of bald right there. So yeah I really really enjoy this product. So guys we have a lot of eyeshadow favorites this month like a lot. My next favorites are all of the Bad Habit palettes, the after palettes, the bundle. I got the bundle in April, I want to say, and I've been testing them out. I want to film a review maybe in the next couple days, I think. I don't know. I feel like I need to play around with these just a little bit more to finalize my thoughts, but I mean, if it's in a favorites video, you guys already know that I like them. I'll just give you the nitty gritty in the review video. So yeah, I've been obsessed with these palettes. I got the bundle for 30 bucks, which is a much better deal than buying each palette individually. You basically get a palette free. So yeah, I really love this one. This one has been one of my most loved ones just because I feel like I don't have a lot of pink eyeshadows in my collection other than like the Modern Renaissance palette and those are more like raspberries. So I've really been enjoying the pink in this palette and I feel like it's really unique to my collection. And then I've also been really enjoying, I've really been enjoying the Aftershock palette as well, just because there's so many bright, beautiful colors. Like, I'm obsessed with this palette. Um, and I really love that some of the brighter colors are mattes, like all of these ones are mattes. And then, I guess the yellow too, and then these three are shimmers. Um, I've been enjoying really creating some really beautiful, colorful matte looks. I find it kind of easier to blend those into the crease than like a shimmer shade. As far as the smoky palette goes, which is called After Party, I never thought I'd actually like a smoky eyeshadow palette because honestly, 
like classic smokey eyes really aren't my thing i don't think they're very flattering on me but i am obsessed with this palette it has so many just beautiful metallic shades that are just gorgeous all over the lid and i love how they pair with cool tones like i'm not a cool tone lover but i love this palette it's so beautiful and then i mean there's the warm palette and come on look at this palette there's no way i wasn't gonna love this one like Honestly, I think I've used this one the least because I already know that I love it. The only- I've used it and I know that the formula is good and I already am obsessed with the colors because I love warm tones. Warm. My next favorite is actually a brush and it is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. It's kind of a fluffier, wispy brush. Um, it has kind of- it tapers in the middle, but it's just kind of wispy and I've been obsessed with using this to set my under eyes. I feel like it just really gets in those fine lines that I have under there. And sets the product and it really decreases the amount of creasing that I have. I was using the Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush, which they're quite similar, but I feel like I like the shape of this one better because it really does get under my eye into those fine lines right under my eye and really set it down. So I've been obsessed with this brush. Okay, this is the last favorite and it's also another eyeshadow favorite and it's the BH Cosmetics Festival Weekend Palette. Now, if you guys haven't picked up this palette, Hop on that train. It is so, so beautiful. I picked mine up at Ulta. I don't think it's available at Ulta anymore, which is really a bummer. I got a fantastic deal on it. I think it was $12, $14, somewhere in that range. But this is such a gorgeous palette. If you want to dip your toe into color and kind of just experiment around, I would highly recommend this palette. All the shades are beautifully pigmented. They're soft and they blend well. And I just, I can't say enough good things about this palette. I've been loving creating some really colorful looks as well as some neutral looks with this because it does have those neutrals that are kind of essential to create a look. Um, but yeah, I've just been loving this palette. It's made me feel so inspired and so creative. So yeah, love this palette so much. So that's all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And also don't forget to check out my Instagram and Pinterest. They're always linked down below. Um, I post on my Instagram a lot. I post looks, I post sneak peeks of videos, product shots. I just, I post a lot on there. So I would love it if you guys followed me on there as well. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.